Hello guys and welcome back to another video, today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 3.1 and VirtualBox. Before we get started, please vote up in the poll what my next video should be about. Don't forget to share this video, if you enjoy it give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more click that subscribe button alongside that little bell to get notifications every time I upload a new video. With this being said, the only software you will need is VirtualBox or VMware. I'll link VirtualBox in the description and I'll put a link to a vi video on how to get VMware free, full and legal from their website. And also don't worry about FLY, I just use it to shorten the links. Uh, it's not a scam or something, it's not a virus. So also in the description you'll find a zip in which you will find two folders, uh, which are these two right here just extract it okay so let's open up VirtualBox so I'm gonna go into search Windows and search for VirtualBox and open it and now we're gonna click new and onto name you're gonna call it whatever you want I'm gonna put in Windows 3.1 on type Microsoft Windows and on version Windows 3.1 click next and put in an amount of RAM but don't put too much. I'm gonna put 64 megabytes. Old OS's don't support a lot of RAM memory. So you might get an error if you put too much. Click next. Go ahead and click create a virtual hard disk. Click next. Select one of the three formats and click next. Now I recommend you using big size since it's a very small hard drive and it's gonna be better for the virtual machine, but you can go dynamically. So now put in an amount of storage I'm gonna put 1.5 gigabytes and you can also browse for another location for the virtual hard drive and click create okay so it's done Click settings and now on general this looks good to me now go over to system and this is good as well on this tab on processors okay and on acceleration leave it as it is it doesn't matter now on video RAM I'm gonna put 32 megabytes but the same story don't put too much or you're gonna get an error now the rest of the settings look good but now on storage you're gonna remove the optical controller and on floppy you're gonna go and choose and you're gonna choose on the ms-dos folder the disk one now leave everything else as it is and click ok and now click start Now I'm going to zoom in for you to see. Now you're going to tap enter on your keyboard. Now you're going to get in the MS-DOS setup because Windows 3.1 must be installed on top of MS-DOS. So tap enter, enter on configure unallocated space and tap enter. And that's going to reboot and you're going to put formatting drive C. And now you're going to get to the next step. Now these settings, just change them if you want. but you don't have a lot of country support so I'm gonna leave that as it is and tap enter on these settings are correct enter for this path and now it's gonna ask for disk 2 so you can either right click and now choose for disk 2 or go up here and choose for our so now we're gonna go in the MS-DOS folder and get the disk 2 and tap enter on your keyboard now the same thing and now put the disk 3 enter and we're done so go into the floppy controller and remove all of the disks tap enter and enter again and now we are in MS-DOS 6.22 and this is it now we need to install Windows 3.1 so in order to do that 
go again on the floppy and just choose a disk. Now go into the Windows 3.1 folder and choose disk 1. Now go to machine and go reset and tap reset. So now it's going to boot to MS-DOS. And what you want to do is go into the drive A, which is the floppy drive. Now in drive A, we're going to list everything by typing DIR. And now you're going to search for setup executable. So type in setup or setup.exe. It doesn't matter. Now, if it doesn't work with just setup, type in setup.exe and tap enter. And now we are on the Windows 3.1 installation. Enter. Now C. This looks good. Enter. And now you can change these, but I recommend you just click enter on the above list matches my computer. Now go ahead and choose the disk two because it asks for it and tap enter. Disk three, exact same story. Enter. And now we are on the GUI. So hover your mouse over it and now tap on it and click capture. And now we have the mouse of Windows 3.1. Put in your name and optional accompany. I'm gonna put my YouTube channel. Continue. Now click continue again. Now I recommend you untick the setup printers because it's old printers and you might not be able to use a virtual machine with old printers. So this looks good. Continue. Continue again. And it's gonna ask for the next floppy. So disk four and enter just to not capture the mouse every time because uh, OK is pre-selected. So disk five, enter. Now it's done again and put in disk six and we are done with it. So OK, capture again the mouse and make all modifications for you and continue and OK. And now just click search now to get apps okay for ms dos editor so add the apps you want and okay now skip tutorial and what you want to do is go into the floppy controller again and remove disk and now click reboot So you're gonna boot to MS-DOS and what you need to do is type in win and you're into Windows. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. See you next time on How Do I Teach.